my entire life I've been surrounded by amazing women. As I grew older, I wondered how did my parents and grandparents find one another? I believe now I know the answer. They did not have to search for each other. They simply put their trust in the Lord, made the right choices, and God brought them closer. Little did I know on April 15, 2018, the choice I made to meet a gorgeous little blonde from Georgia would change my life for forever. At that point, I had no idea you would soon be my wife. Paige, you are the woman that I prayed for over and over in my prayers. God has given me a loving, faithful, hardworking, tolerant, beautiful, godly woman. I will admit, I have really outkicked my coverage with you, Paige. As we stand here today in front of family and friends, I want you to know on April 15, 2018, I found the love of my life, my forever girl. I now would like to share 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Paige, first and foremost, I promise to always put God first in our marriage. I promise to listen, to hear, and always consider your feelings, even when I think I'm right. I promise to work hard for you and always do my best to meet your needs over my own. Paige, I promise to be slow to anger, even when it involves, well, my hunting and fishing. I promise to always be loyal and honest with you no matter the situation. Lastly, I promise to love you and continue to fall in love with you even when we grow old. Today I'm reminded why I fell in love with you two years ago. After our first date, I can remember driving home thinking to myself, I'm, this is the man I'm going to marry. Our connection was undeniably easy, and for the first time, I felt free to genuinely be myself with someone. Thank you for showing me that love is an action and a choice. Thank you for being my very best friend and for always making me feel so loved, even when it's undeserving. You are everything I've prayed for in a husband. Today, I'm so proud to become your wife, but I know I'll be even more proud to be the mother of your children one day. I promise to love you, honor you, and respect you every day. I promise to support you, encourage you, and always build you up. I promise to get better at making bologna sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to love you through duck season, through deer and turkey season, and most of all, the dreaded football season. Seriously, I'll drive to the side. I promise to always put Christ in the center of our marriage. I choose you today, tomorrow, and I will go on choosing you for the rest of my life. I love you. Father, we love you and we praise you and we thank you. We come to you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you, Father, for what you have and are joining together today. I thank you for Ryan and Paige. I thank you, Lord, for their commitment to love one another while at the same time they've made a commitment to truly love you. And I pray for the, just the next little while, God, that your hand of anointing will be upon every little minute detail of this wedding. God, may you get the glory for what you're joining together today. In Jesus' name, amen. This is that moment, my brother, you have been waiting on. <laughs> Woo! Ryan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>